I'd like to welcome everybody back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at a completely unique robotic lawnmower. This is the Ecovax GOAT A3000 LiDAR robotic lawnmower. Guys, if you are tired of mowing your lawn and you just don't have time for it, this might be a fantastic option for you. This one here is the easiest setup of any I've used, and I've tested a lot on this channel, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen a lot of reviews on different lawnmowers. This one's totally unique, guys. It does not have wires that you have to put into the ground to create a barrier, and it doesn't use an RTK satellite separate unit that you have to put in the middle of your yard or up on your roof. You don't have to do that with this. It is all built in. It has a LiDAR system. Super unique, guys. Again, this is the Ecovax GOAT A3000 LiDAR. They have a few different models. This is the one you want, guys. I'm gonna do a full review in today's video. I'll show you how easy it is to set up. I'm expecting maybe a 15 minute setup. We're gonna get this incredibly long grass to look fantastic. I'll show you before and after. I might even do a few time lapses so you can kind of see how it runs. This thing I'm excited about. So let's get right into it. Before I get to the setup, I just wanted to walk over a couple features about this. I want you to get a close up look of it. What does it come with when you get it out of the box? It's simply what you see here. You've got your charging dock station here and it will auto dock and auto charge itself. And it has a rapid charge and I'll get into that a little bit later. And then you're going to get the cords. So it comes with all the cords you need. It even has little spikes. Now these spikes are just to make sure that the base doesn't move. If I can make one suggestion if you are getting a mower, whether it's this one or a different one, make sure your base is not right on your grass because wherever this base is, there's electric current that goes through here, wherever it's on the grass, it's gonna kill that part of your grass. So for me, I just put it right on the edge in rocks. Sometimes I'll put it on in the mulch. I run a couple of these at the same time. I've got one for my backyard, one for the front. This will actually do both. You can set zones, but I like to test different mowers. So I have a couple different ones and they're running at the same time. Just so you can get a close up look of this unit before we get it out there, because I want you to see how wide of a cut this is. It's pretty impressive, really. So if you look underneath here, it has the dual cutting range. So you get, instead of having just one cutter, which a lot of these mowers have, one little blade system, you've got two so you're going to have a wider cut very powerful motor as well so it's going to circulate much much faster and it's got these really big knobby tires so you're going to get good grip whether you are on a hill um, or if like right now it's pretty wet grass so this isn't going to skid out or anything like that it's going to grab it really good and it's got these uh, wheels here that rotate around so you can get that 360 turn which is super important right up here you've got your lidar system right here this is really, really nice, guys, because this is going to do that uh, navigation setup. So it's going to do all the work for you. Yes, you can drive your zone and map it out if you want to, but this uses an intelligent technology that's going to, based on the map that you drew, determine the best path and the nicest path for you. And that's really important. You have your emergency stop button right on the top as well. So if you just need to stop it, lift it up, move it, whatever, for whatever reason you can do that. It does have really smart eyes right here. So it's got a guidance system. So if there are obstacles, whether it's children, toys, whatever in your yard, pets, this will stop and it will go around it. It senses that right there, which is really, really nice. So now that I gave you the kind of the walk around of this i would say we're going to go ahead and set it up so i'll walk you through the setup process it's not going to be a huge deal because this is a super easy setup once i do that we'll take some looks at it and i'll give you my final thoughts on the ecovax go 8 3000. so this is a five step setup really easy guys it only takes about 15 20 minutes what you're going to do step one download the app you do need the app to use this mower it's an easy to use app and i'm going to show it to you a little bit in today's video step two Go ahead and plug in your base unit and go ahead and set your mower right into it to start the charging process. Then step three, you're gonna go ahead and sync it to your app. Now that can be done right in the app. It's really easy to do. Once you sync it, we'll move on to step number four. 
you're ready to go guys. So step number four is to map out your area. So where do you want it to mow? So I'm gonna go ahead and use the app. I'm gonna walk the property. And as I walk the property, I'm gonna make sure that I cover the full area that I want to mow. Now I'm gonna do a portion of my backyard. I've got about three acres. This can't handle the full three acres. So I'm just gonna do about a half an acre area. So we'll see how long it takes to do that and the quality of it. Now, after I map it out, we're going to get on to step number five. Now, step number five is the easiest. All you have to do is sit back with some Kool-Aid and hit go, and it will go ahead and mow. Now, a couple things I want to mention. Make sure you set your mowing height within the app. You can do that really easily within the app because, for me, I have a tall fescue mixed with some Kentucky bluegrass, so I like to have mine. It's natural to be a little bit taller, but if over by the kids' play area, I do want it to be a little bit shorter. So what's cool about this particular mower is that you can do zones. So if I want one zone to be maybe a 2.8 inch, and then over by the kids, I might want a you know, 2.0 inch cut. I can do that. I can set zones with this. Now I can set automatic, weekly, monthly, daily, whatever I want it to mow, I can set it to mow for me so I don't have to do it. I usually do these on a more manual basis personally, but it's nice to be able to just put it on autopilot and go. So let's take a look as it hits this. I'll go ahead and do a little time lapse so you can kind of see how it works. It uses an intelligence technology to create the best possible map route for your yard. I've got a very tricky yard and I wanted to test it on the hardest part of my yard with the brick walls, with the garden, with the kids area, with the trees. I've got all of this around here so it's going to be a fun, fun video. All right, I gotta ask you, is it even possible to be in love with a robot? Because if it is possible, I'm in love with this thing and I, you guys have seen my videos. I've tested a lot of robotics, whether it's pool robots, lawn robots, indoor carpet cleaning robots. I've done a lot of robots on this channel. But this is the best one I've ever had. As far as the setup process, it was 15 minutes and it was ready to go as you saw earlier in the video. The lines are actually really clean lines. It only took 45 minutes to do this area right here and I would say it was probably about maybe a third of an acre that I had it do and it did it all. The only issue it had was I've got these mounds over here uh, where the sewage goes out. So those I can't do anything about. And it stopped and it said hazard. It didn't go around it. It stopped right there. All I had to do was just tell it that it was a hazard, moved it a little bit, and then it continued on its path. But it did mess a little area right on the other side of that. Very small. I could take a weed whacker to that. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but I do have a ton of obstacles on this lawn. I've got a patio that is brick. I've got a pool area. I've got the garden on this side. And of course, I have that little mound area I was telling you about. But it got about 95% of the lawn very clean, very minimal grass clippings. I had it pretty long, as you saw earlier in the video. So the grass needed a cut really bad. This did it for me, guys. I actually jumped in the pool for a little bit, hung out with my kids for a little bit, came back, and 45 minutes later, it was done. Couldn't believe it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse and all the filming I did on this. Again, this is the Ecovax GOAT A3000 LiDAR. I would definitely go with the 3000 LiDAR model. Some of their other models will utilize the RTK satellite system. There's communication areas, especially if you're out in the country. So you, it's just one extra thing you have to have. With this, you don't have to. It was very smart the way it mapped it. Perfect lines. I mean, you can see in the camera. This is super impressive, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you want to check out other lawnmowers that I've reviewed on this channel, go ahead and just click the channel name right down below. You can scroll all through all my different videos on different robotics. This is awesome, guys. This thing right here blew me away. Thanks again, everybody. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do us a favor. Just hit that thumbs up right down below this video. Share this video with those that you think would like this as well. And don't forget to subscribe. We have tons of videos on this channel just like this. So make sure you check those out as well. Thanks again, everybody. Bye.